Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jade and um, I post videos about fragrances and also travel when I do get to in the future, when I do get to travel after um, this crisis. But um, anyways, if you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and also follow me on Instagram. So today I want to talk about um, kind of like a brand review for the brand by Rado. Um, just on the fragrances that I have smelled um, and uh, just like my general thoughts on it I'm not gonna go into the specific notes for each different fragrances I'm just going to tell you how I feel and what type of situation or like personality comes to mind when I sniff them um, I am also thinking about doing this for other brands so if you have certain brands that you are interested in um, for me to do the review please leave them in the comment section down below so um, let's get into it so um, I actually have more um, perfume testers but they I just like ran out of them and I don't own any full-size Byredo perfumes um, yet I don't know if I'm going to pick and pick them up um, later but I do have um, for body lotions I'm like a hoarder for things that um, are going like I'm hoarder for things that are perishable uh, because I do not I hate the idea of I'm um, like needing something like as of shampoo or body lotion or like candles or like other things that are you go through um, and then realizing oh things are um, done and I need to go make a supermarket trip uh, the trip to the supermarket I, I hate that idea and I, I hate exercising it I basically just order everything online all in a bulk and so I don't have to worry about it for maybe a year or so um, I'm not usually like a trend chaser I like what I like and um, I don't need to get the newest thing when it comes out so that's why it's not a big thing for me to purchase throughout a year and also most of the time I'm not even in my apartment um, and that's a big reason for that so that's enough rambling let's get into it um, so I'm going to actually tell you about one fragrance that I have smelled which is Bibliotheque so Bibliotech is um, Eau de Parfum. I think all Viredo is Eau de Parfum, so I'm not going to repeat that. So Bibliotech, um, it means library in French. And I thought it would smell like um, woody um, and classy, elevated, kind of like an actual library. and this is what I imagine that it will smell like, like whatever this picture kind of um, pumps your brain to feel a certain type of way. Uh, maybe it doesn't, but to me, it's just like a clean, a woody, um, elevated, like maybe a little bit of floral type of scent that I was anticipating. And it's like absolutely not what I got. Um, I feel like people that like, smelled like um, spices and booziness and it's just like not the way I want uh, my home or myself to smell like. I do not want to smell like alcohol um, at any given point in my life because I feel like the only time I could smell like a little bit of alcohol is if I had been drinking. If that's not the case, um, I absolutely do not want to smell like alcohol by um, the use of perfume because um, I don't want to be seen drunk. Like I, I, I speak a lot of things like just without processing and without thinking too much. So if I had been actually smell like I am also drunk, then like, I probably wouldn't get far as much in life. I don't know. But that's my thought on Bibliotech, um, not very positive. And here we have um, Gypsy Water. So this one I know is the uh, most popular one for Byredo. Um, and 
it is definitely woody a hint of sweetness very cozy i know there's pines in it i do like the smell of pines cozy reminds me of like a christmas market but not a chaotic one I know people say this is like very earthy I actually I do get the sense of that but to me it's not like terribly like earthy like it, it's like mm, it's not masculine it's not terribly earthy all of them are unisex and it's quite um, sweet and youthful so um i do like gypsy water and i know that's just the opening so i'm gonna let it dry down for a bit while i go through the other ones and come back to that and the next one is mojave ghost which is one of my favorites this is very i i, I feel like it's papaya and I love papaya. I love Mojave Ghost. I think if I were to pick up any Byredo scents, it would definitely have to be Mojave Ghost. Uh, because it's, it has like that very happy essence. And it's a sweet... I don't know if it's fruity. It does remind me of certain fruit like papaya and mango, but it, there's no citrus. There's no zestiness in it. Um, it's kind of like what you would imagine a papaya flavored um, dessert to smell like, but it's also not that sweet. It's very, it's like, sweet enough that if you really like it but it, it's also not that sweet that any uh, that you would be able to wear this to every single um occasion it's very very um it's very very versatile i don't think unless you're going to like a funeral i don't think there's an occasion that this would be inappropriate I feel like a very likable, charismatic person would wear this. I see this like more feminine, not as, um, I don't really see a man, like a um, um, usual masculine man wear this. But like I said, all of them are unisex. So um, this is also Mojave Ghost. Um, all of them comes like this um, as body lotion and they give you this pump for you to like just like open this up and then insert this in to pump the lotion out. So the Mojave Ghost the lotion is like the exactly same smell as um, the perfume. So I'm going to put that aside. Um, so this is how it would look like um, if I have inserted that pump and you have this stop and open a nozzle twist. So you can actually travel with this one. It's not going to spill uh, when you want to use it. You just twist the other way. This is Baudafik. Uh, I know this is, I have heard so much good things about Baudafik. And honestly, I wanted to pick the fragrances up for Bodafrique first because I really like Africa and I travel to Africa all the time. So I feel like this would be like a good sentimental value for me just to remember all of my past trips and this and that. Um, the scent, I... The scent, I feel... Wait, which one is... Okay. I feel uh, is very bright. Um, if you if you would pick picture a color with the scent, it will definitely be yellow. And there is African marigold and the roly, and then um, some earthy ingredients like earthy perfume notes in this. 
but I wouldn't say Baldafik is my favorite. The scent is warm. It's very, very warm. You kind of picture sunshine. Um, has nothing to do with suntan lotion. But it definitely gives you that like warmth and it's a bit sweet. None of these are dry. Like none of these makes you feel like it's spicy, uh, the, the ones that I have except the bibliothek none of this make you feel like it's spicy actually sorry take that back um a rose of no man's land is spicy um, to me so botafik is gentle it's like silky very very warm i just feel like if you're cold and then you smell this this will make you less cold Um, I picture someone very confident wearing this. I don't know about summer. I feel like uh, it's too, like to me, that mental association. With the scent, I feel like it's a little bit too warm for the summer, but I think it's perfect for the winter. So I picture this as a perfect like fall weather uh, office wear or um, weekend casual scent. Um, so this is quite good it's just that i prefer mojave ghost over this one rose of no man's land this is a um special one it's a very peppery rose it has pink pepper in this and i, I um sometimes pink pepper are not spicy but to me this is quite spicy i like absolutely loved this when i first smelled this and i was like this close to buying a hundred millimeter um perfume but then i used this like more and i smelled this i also had a um, the same sample to use and i smelled it more and i wear the perfume and i feel like it's a little bit too spicy for my taste although the um the tribute to this is quite interesting rose of no man's land is Tributed to the nurses working in World War II, um, and I think it's like really nice to have a perfume that's like meaning to some meaningful to something. Although the new Leo Fleur um, from Byredo, I think the name is um, a little weird, but I do find Byredo as a as a brand image to be like a um, safe eccentric um if there's such category but it's it's not too too eccentric out there but it's also not mm, a like a mass appealing type of image so little fleur that one i don't have a heaven smelled because it just came out i think in um last month or this month so little fleur is like tributing to the awkward years in a teenager's teenage age and you kind of like make mistakes and you probably uh, didn't end up with like the person you had a crush on so things like that um, I find it to be intriguing but it's not something that I kind of want to smell or want to be wearing nowadays as a um, as I'm like in my late 20s so um yeah rose of no man's land it's an interesting spicy rose scent um then gypsy water is the same as the one i was just testing in perfume so smelling mojave ghost again very just reminds me so much of papaya if you love papaya definitely pick this one up I really like this one. I think this is a very, very, very happy scent. If you are like feeling down and then smelling Mojave Ghost would definitely give you that mind, like a mood boost. So um, that's definitely my favorite. And Gypsy Water, this goes down to a little bit more creamy than um, I smelled when it first opened up. 
more and then sweeter more creamy and sweeter but it's not like a gourmand type of sweet it's a woody sweet it's like a very creamy soft like sandalwood type of sweet so yeah that is um my review on the viridos i have smelled um i might do another one once i um if i do get more viridos so um don't forget to subscribe and follow me on instagram thank you